What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is Life is Feudal. New game on Steam Early Access. I picked this up planning on doing some Let's Plays on it, but to be honest with you, after sinking some hours into it, I will not put you through the boredom. Not saying that it doesn't have fun and doesn't have promise, but as of now, I must say this game just really is not my thing. Not, not, it's not my thing, it's just very boring. Let me give you an example here. Here we have a village that was made with a group of people, okay? And this took a lot of teamwork splitting up tasks. For example, you need food to do anything, you need grass, you need rocks, you need all these supplies, and you just basically have to have one person on apple patrol getting apples, or one person on grass patrol, and that, and you have to have the skill to even do stuff, to make stuff, and you have to level up your skill, and it all boils down to staring at a green bar. For example, plant fiber. We need plant fiber to make some basic tools. And we just simply right click on the ground, we go to nature lore, and gather plant fiber. And this is what you do, you stare at a green bar that slowly goes up. You can't do anything but stare at the green bar as you, plant, you know, just punch the ground. Great, we, we fa and we failed to even find anything. So. After all that staring at the green bar, let's do it again. Look for some plant fiber. More green bar. So, part of my, part of my, you know, I just feel like there was a lot of work of just staring at a green bar. I do feel we got something done. Okay, we got some plant fiber. Great. Now we need some rocks. All right, let's uh, go to dig a tunnel downward. Uh, something happened there, I'm not sure. Let's dig a tunnel downward, and guess what? We get to stare at the green bar again. Do you guys really want a video of this? Because it is a lot of staring at green bar, which seems very little. Now, again, we didn't dig a hole. It would be to dig a hole, like something we got here, we're talking a lot of staring at green bars. It's not like Minecraft or something of that nature. Here, let's, uh, you know, again, staring at some green bars. That, this actually goes a little bit faster. Oh, I'm overburning. Okay, let, let's look at my inventory here. Um, as you can see here, we got sticks. You know, if I want to just right click, create a primitive tool. Let's make something here. Uh, can we make a fishing pole? Yeah, we can. Let's make a fishing pole. I have the, I have branch and bark. And again, more staring at a green bar. It's not like I can do anything here, okay? I mean, I just am forced to stare at a green bar. All right, great. Now I have a fishing pole. All right, sweet. Let's go do some fishing. But guess what? I'm not going to bore you with that because that includes more staring at a green bar. It is simply staring at a green bar. The game. Now, and there's no, there's nothing that happens. I, we have, I have not been attacked. There's not uh, some wild animals that attack you. It's just really, man, mundane work. Let's uh, let's look at my character here. Now, here, for example, well, I want to shape. Now, here's another big beef with this game is leveling up your character. As you can see here, um, my terraforming has increased by point. You know, to do anything, you need to level up certain. Let's bring it up here. Certain attributes. That's what I'm looking for. This right here. And for example, my mining. Obviously, I want to mine that logging okay I mean you could kind of get but to in order to do some of this stuff let's move this out of the way here I can go to here for example right click shape and let's uh, shape some rocks here 
Here, I'm gonna level up my construction simply by staring at the green bar. That's the gist of the game. I don't really see much of a payoff. To be honest, I spent maybe two, three, four hours in this game and really nothing fun has happened. Nothing exciting has happened. Nothing... It, it's interesting. I like the terrain. I like the graphics. The scenery is nice. The music's really soothing and enjoyable. It's not all bad. I watch a video and it looks like eventually, okay, you can get armor and swords and you know, like here for example, if I don't run out of stamina, because now I'm like super overburdened. Um, and it, th man, I'll tell you what, this game is a big learning curve. To learn this game is a lot. I was going to do a tutorial on it, but I see there's some other tutorials out there already. But here we have a kiln and a furnace. and But guess what? You cannot do anything with that object. Why? Probably because my skill isn't high, so I have to level that up by staring at a green bar. I, I don't know, I, I really, I'm not excited to stare at any more green bars. I think I've had my fill with this game already, which is, is too bad because I think somewhere deep inside it is a game, I would just like to see more progress. And since it relies on other people, I'm not, I'm, I guess when I play a game, I don't uh, like to rely on other people too much. It's cool, I mean, if I could find a decent server where you could maybe do a lot of trading or something like that, I could see some benefit to that. But I kind of want to make my own shack. I kind of want to just hide out on my own. This is... A lot like Rust, I guess. To me, Rust is more of an enjoyable game. I just feel there's more action, there's more... There's less work involved in getting something done. I feel there's just so much less staring at a green bar. And I'm gonna end the video there, guys. Again, I'm gonna visit this game maybe somewhere down the line when it's more developed, but as of now, I just don't really feel like playing it anymore. And sorry for the, I'm sure some of you guys are going to hate on that because some of you guys love this game, which is cool. I can see why you would love this game, but for, it's just as it sits right now, really not for me. Talk to you guys later. Genius Pie Trap, over and out. Later. Bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard.